hello everyone so in the previous video uh, we ran our CNN model on GPU and in this video we'll see how uh, we'll try to visualize the intermediate layer outputs such as the convolution layer or the pooling or any other layers so in this video what we are going to do is we'll also see how we can extract weights of each layer from the Keras model and also get the entire weights we'll also try to visualize the filters of different layers and we'll also see how we can get the layer configuration and we'll also try to visualize the intermediate intermediate layer outputs so let's get started with it so this is the code which you remember uh, we are trying to classify MNIST dataset so this is the different modules that we need to import this is the parameters of the model and this is your uh, we are reshaping it and then we are like uh, normalizing it and then we defined our model which is the convolution model we have a convolution then convolution then pooling then a flattened dense layer then an output dense layer and then a softmax activation on the output layer and then we train it by using model dot trick we can validate it on test data or we can split the training data so i have used i have trained using this and i did for 20 epochs train on this and validate on this many samples and the test data which i didn't use i used to evaluate the model with the test data using this command and i got an accuracy of 99.22 percent and a loss of 0 0.03 now uh, we'll see how we can see the configuration of the model as well as different layers actually i have done here i'll just show you live okay so for getting the configuration of the entire model we need to type model dot get config so this you get the entire configuration of your entire model let me enlarge it okay so this uh, in one curly braces we have one layer so first we are having a convolution layer which we saw when we are adding the model in the code its input shape is this the number of rows columns 3 cross 3 number of filters 32 its subsampling is 1 that is tried is 1 then we put a nonlinear activation then we have another convolution layer of filters 32 and size 3 cross 3 and then we have activation and then we have max pooling of pool size 2 by 2 and a stride of 2 2 then we use some dropout layer then we flatten flatten our network then we use activation then we use a dense layer of 128 and an output layer which is also dense of output dimension 10 we have a loss function of categorical cross entropy and optimizer which is added data so this is the same thing but uh, which we get in more detailed shape this this model which we uh, used in for training our CNN okay and now suppose you want to get the configuration of individual layers so this was model dot get config you just put model dot layers of whichever layer you want for suppose the first layer zero dot get config so you will get the first uh, information about the first layer which in our case is the convolution layer okay so now once we got the configuration this is just used for visualizing we can also get the parameters of the entire model so model dot count params so this will give the total number of parameters in the model it's around 6 lakh and what if you want to uh, see the models of only uh, sorry the parameters of individual layer the same thing you have to just put model dot layers and give the layer number actually in python the counting start with zero so i'm giving zero for the first layer so it will give the parameters so it's 320 actually i can show you this i have split okay so here if i run this model dot layers of zero dot count parameters okay so this is the convolution layer it was having 32 filters of size 3 cross 3 and 32 biases so it comes to 320 so yeah, for the first layer which is activation I mean the nonlinear activation which is ReLU it won't have any parameters so if we run this it will give zero the second layer again is a convolution layer second I mean third layer but we show it by index 2 so it will be around 9248 parameters okay so this gives the count of the parameters what if we want to see the weights 
okay so we can do that by uh, using this command i'll show you that okay so you have to give model dot layers whichever layer the first convolution layer zero dot w so this will okay this we have to use dot get value it will get the value so this are the 32 filters value of the 32 filters of size 3 by 3 so we have 32 such filters and if you want to see the bias or what, what it has learned the value of the bias instead of w you have to just put b for bias so it will give yeah this 32 biases okay so in this way we can see the value of the weights and if you want we can even plot this filters or this weights by using this code so in this i am defining a plot filter function uh, it will give the layer number this will take the layer number and get its value and plot it okay so but let's run this function and let's call this function by using layer zero first layer layer zero by model dot layer okay so this will show you the 32 filters so these are your 32 filters of 3 by 3 these are the weights after the network has been trained okay so in this way we can visualize the filters and what if we want to visualize the intermediate output layer so we have the command for that so what you have to do is first you have to define the output layer. so actually i pause the video so just to check this code and so how we can visualize the intermediate layer outputs so for that there is a function that is output layer equal to model dot layers of zero dot get output and similarly for getting the input you have to use dot get input okay so if you want to get the output of suppose the first convolution layer then we'll first choose the layer output layer equal to model dot layers of zero dot get output and then we'll define a theano function so how to define a theano function we'll give the function name Theano dot function the input which we are going to give and the output so the input which we are going to give in any case doesn't matter whichever output layer we are going to visualize we'll be using uh, zero as the input because the image is feeding at this layer there's an input uh, sorry to the first this is actually the first layer so the image is being fed to this first layer itself so this will remain the same now suppose uh, we want to give one image to as input to this layer so let me choose uh, the first image of our training data set so let me run this input image and let me see its shape so its uh, shape is what one means actually is one image this for channel one channel is a gray it's a gray channel image it's a single channel gray image and then size is 28 by 28 so we can visualize that image what is that image and it's a 5 actually this if you can just visualize in this color normal if you do normal plot image it will show you something like this okay so this image is 5 okay so now when this is fed into the network what happens how this image changes throughout the network so that we need to visualize so let's visualize the convolution layer output so we define output image as output function as this function and input to this function is this input image so this is the input image now you run this output image we feed the input image to it so this and if we see its shape let's see its shape so it is it's a single channel image obviously there are 32 filters so for each filter a image is generated and after the convolution so you see the image size was uh, 28 by 28 and after the convolution it became 26 by 26 so in order to visualize it we'll just reshape this so that we can visualize it so we'll use this roll axis function and this will after all axis we get single channel image size of 26 by 26 and 32 filters so we'll run this code for visualizing those 32 filters okay so first uh, there are we'll use this 32 filters we'll plot in a 6 by 6 format and th this will give in this format 0 means this first it will select then all the rows all the column that is 26 26 and i refers to the filter number so let me run this you will see the feature maps of the first convolution layer how your network has produced it okay so so this was your input 5 after convolution these are the 32 feature maps that after convolution the cnn has produced okay so 
if you want to visualize the output of first layer first layer means uh, actually you remember then this is convolution then the activation this was after convolution what if you apply the activation function on this so you nothing you have to do you have to just make this function as one okay so second layer output and you run this everything again okay so run this and you run this so you get the output of the first convolution layer oh sorry uh, this activation layer so you see this this was your feature map after convolution and once we apply activation this is your feature map and similarly we can see what happens after pooling so just make it layer number two sorry layer two is convolution then we have pooling so layer two will give the output of the second convolution layer so let's run it once again and let's see what it shows to us okay so this is the second convolution layer output and you see the image size from 20, 28 was fed to it it became 24 and now you see there was how many filters 32 even in second layer there are 32 filters okay so that's why it's showing like this 32 filters and uh, similarly the max pooling will be in the fourth layer so we can see the pooled layer ones run this So now after pulling it was 20 uh, sorry it was 24 cos 24 after pulling it became 12 cos 12 and this is what happens after pulling the size is reduced so this is the second convolution layer feature map I didn't show the activation on this after activation this is the pool layer so in this way you can visualize the output of the intermediate layers so I hope uh, this give you insight of the convolution in neural network how outputs are being produced and this video is helpful so in next video we'll try to see how we can like in this case what we are doing is uh, this we are directly loading the data set from this MNA, from this library itself so what if we have our own data set how can we feed into the network and train it so in the next video we'll see that how we can feed and feed and organize the data of our own data set okay so thank you and good luck